Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. This is Tech PBA. In this video tutorial, I'll show you how to resolve an error message um, that pops up on your screen when you start um, some Windows applications, especially the, the ones we install from the Windows uh, Microsoft Store. So that is the error message. Um, Windows cannot find um, a, a certain file in that location. So this one actually, this one is um, something to do with Microsoft Teams. Um, but this is quite easier to resolve when you uninstall and install um, Teams, it works right away. Teams um, begins to work again. But the one I showed you earlier has got to do with um, starting some um, Windows applications, um, especially, or for example, the Facebook application, Instagram applications. The applications we usually start um, or we install from the Windows Store or any other application on Windows. So I'm just trying to show you how the error comes about. So sometimes when you are trying to open some of these applications, you will get this um, error message on your screen that Windows cannot find a certain um, file in a certain, in that location. So I tried going into that location, um, open the C drive, open programs file, opened, um, Windows apps, and then in the Windows apps um, uh, folder, I went into the the next um, path or the next folder, which is the Microsoft Edge stable, and then those. Um, so when I open that, you can see that the, that particular file um, they are talking about the PW something helper was not in the folder. So the next thing I did was to open control panel and then go into the uninstall or change programs. And then from there, I right clicked on Microsoft Edge, then clicked on change and click on repair to repair um, the Microsoft Edge application. I tried opening it again, but still the same, nothing happened, nothing changed. But the reason why I repaired um, Edge was that those applications open with Microsoft Edge. So if they, they don't work, it means there's something wrong with Microsoft Edge. So we need to uninstall uh, Microsoft Edge completely from the PC and then reinstall it. So to do so, there's this great tool on um, iTech computers um, websites you can use to uninstall. It's, that is the uninstall Microsoft Edge um, um, tool or script. So click on that to download the, the file or to download the tool. Once you have it downloaded, make sure to um, extract the file because this is a zipped um, file. So go ahead and then extract the file onto your PC. Um, browse where you want to extract the file to. Um, I extracted mine into that folder. I click OK, OK to save the extracted file. So I'll browse, I'll go to where I saved the, the uninstall Edge to open that folder and then remove Edge folder. I'll open that and then that is the tool. It's a, it's a batch file. So what you need to do is to right click on this tool or to right click on this file and then click the or select the run as administrator. That is the only way you can be successful. So accept the UAC prompt and then just allow the script to run. And then what this is going to do is it's going, it's going to um, remove Microsoft Edge um, completely, maybe not completely, but most of it will be gone. So just allow it to do its thing. And then once you see, um, press any key to continue, press any key to close out of that um, command prompt. From there, um, go into your settings, go into the apps, and then scroll down to see if uh, Microsoft Edge is completely um, or removed from your PC. So that is Microsoft Edge. Uh, it's been removed, but some files are still remaining. Um, just go through to see if you can remove them. If not, go ahead and then reboot your system. So on mine, um, there's, there was this one. 
I could um, uninstall. So I selected it and then clicked the uninstall button to uninstall it completely. Once you do that, you should see the Microsoft Edge um, icon on the taskbar disappear. If you run the script and then you remove them from here and it still doesn't um, go away, just reboot your system and then everything should be removed from your PC. So you can see that the icon is gone and it's left a white icon on the taskbar. So from here, I'll go ahead and then reboot my PC and then we'll continue with the tutorial. So I just rebooted it and then the next thing I will do is to open a fresh tab on Google Chrome and then search for the Microsoft um, Edge browser, the download and install Microsoft Edge, search for that, press enter and then in the results click on the download Microsoft Edge, click on the continue to download Edge. Then click on the download button for um, Windows 11 and 10. Click on that and then click the accept button. Once done, um, the setup will download. Click on the setup file to install the Microsoft Edge application back onto your PC. So wait for the installation to be done. Once done, you will see the Microsoft Edge um, startup page. Um, go through the initial startup and then you should be good to go. So from here, we are going to go into Microsoft Store again and then you would need to reinstall all your Windows apps again. So I will reinstall the Instagram and then the Facebook apps and then we will test um, to see if the error message is um, gone. So I, I, I will click on the Instagram and then click on the install button to install the application from the Microsoft Store. Just uh, be patient with it for the download and then the installation to be done. Once done, you can open it and then test it. So it's done now. I'll click the open button to open the application. And then you can see that now we have success in opening the application. So Instagram is installed, it's opened successfully. Um, let's um, also try installing Facebook because these are the two applications I was trying to open initially, but I was g getting those error messages. So I will install Facebook also, and then that should also be um, successful. So. I faced this issue with Facebook. I faced this issue also on another PC with um, Microsoft Teams. But with Teams, removing it manually works fine without running any scripts. It's just the Windows apps from the Microsoft Store that will give you those issues. The ones that run on Microsoft Edge, that is the one you have to run the script to remove Microsoft Edge. So yes, guys, kindly click on the subscribe button down this video to support us to bring you more of such videos. Click on the like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Turn on notification and then share this video. I will see you. Bye.